The Arabian Desert is a vast desert wilderness in Western Asia. It stretches from Yemen to the Persian Gulf and Oman to Jordan and Iraq. It occupies most of the Arabian Peninsula, with an area of 2,330,000 square kilometers (900,000 square miles). It is the fourth largest desert in the world and the largest in Asia. At its center is the Rubal Khali, one of the largest continuous bodies of sand in the world. Gazelles, oryx, sand cats, and spiny-tailed lizards are just some of the desert-adapted species that survive in this extreme environment, which features everything from red dunes to deadly quicksand. The climate is mostly dry the major part receives around 100 mm of rain per year but some very rare places receives down to 50 mm, and temperatures oscillate between very high heat and seasonal nighttime freezes. It is part of the deserts and xeric shrublands biome and the Palearctic ecozone. The Arabian desert ecoregion holds little biodiversity, although a few endemic plants grow here. Many species, such as the striped hyena, jackal and honey badger have become extirpated due to hunting, human encroachment and habitat destruction. Other species have been successfully reintroduced, such as the sand gazelle, and are protected at a number of reserves. Overgrazing by livestock, off-road driving, and human destruction of habitat are the main threats to this desert ecoregion. Topic: Geology and Geography. Topic: Detailed geological features. A corridor of sandy terrain known as the Ad Dana Desert connects the large and Nafud Desert, 65,000 square kilometers or 40,389 square miles, in the north of Saudi Arabia to the Rub Al Khali in the southeast. The Tuwaik Escarpment is a region of 800 km 500 miles arc of limestone cliffs, plateau, and canyons. Brackish Salt Flats, the quicksands of Umm al Samim, the Wahiba Sands of Oman, an isolated sand sea bordering the east coast. The Rub Al Khali Desert is a sedimentary basin elongated on a southwest to northeast axis across the Arabian Shelf. At an altitude of 1,000 meters (3,300 feet), the rock landscapes yield the place to the rub. Al Khali, vast wide of sand of the Arabian Desert, whose extreme southern point crosses the center of Yemen. The sand overlays gravel or gypsum plains, and the dunes reach maximum heights of up to 250 meters (820 feet). The sands are predominantly silicates, composed of 80 to 90 percent of quartz and the remainder feldspar, whose iron oxide-coated grains color the sands in orange, purple, and red. Topic: <inaudible> Ecology and natural resources. Topic: Some of natural resources available in the Arabian Desert are oil, natural gas, phosphates, and sulfur. The Rubal Khali has very limited floristic diversity. There are only 37 plant species, 20 recorded in the main body of the sands and 17 around the outer margins. Among these 37 species, only one or two are endemic. Vegetation is very diffuse but fairly evenly distributed, with some interruptions of near sterile dunes. Some typical plants are Caliganum crinitum on dune slopes Cornilaca arabica saltbush, Cyperus conglomeratus. Other widespread species are Dytterygium glaucum, Limium arabicum, Zygophyllum mandevillae. Mandeville, Mandeville 1986. Very little trees may be found except at the outer margin, typically Acacia arenbergiana and Prosopis cineraria. Other species are a woody perennial Caliganum comosum and annual herbs such as Danthonia forscali. Topic. Climate. Topic. The Arabian Desert has a subtropical, hot desert climate, close to the climate of the Sahara Desert, the world's largest hot desert. In fact, the Arabian Desert is an extension of the Sahara Desert over the Arabian Peninsula. The climate is mainly hot and dry with plenty of sunshine throughout the year. The rainfall amount is generally around 100 mm, and the driest areas can receive between 30 and 40 mm of annual rain. Such dryness remains very rare throughout the desert, however. There are hardly any hyperarid areas in the Arabian Desert, in contrast with the Sahara Desert, where more than half of the area is hyperarid annual rainfall below 50 mm. 
The sunshine duration is very high by global standards in the Arabian Desert, between 2,900 hours (66.2% of the daylight hours) and 3,600 hours (82.1% of the daylight hours), but is typically around 3,400 hours percent of the daylight hours), which clearly indicates clear sky conditions prevail over the region and cloudy periods are just intermittent. Even though the sun and moon is bright, the dust and humidity has a lower visibility for the traveler. The temperatures remain high all year round. Average high temperatures in summer are generally over 40 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit at low elevations, and can even soar to 48 degrees Celsius .8 degrees Fahrenheit at extremely low elevations, especially along the Persian Gulf near the sea level. Average low temperatures in summer remain high, over 20 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit and sometimes over 30 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in the southernmost regions. Record high temperatures are above 50 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit in much of the desert, due in part to very low elevation. <laughs> Political borders The desert lies mostly in Saudi Arabia, extending into the surrounding countries of Egypt Sinai, southern Iraq and southern Jordan. The Arabian Desert is bordered by five countries. Bordering the Persian Gulf, there is an extension into Qatar and, further east, the region covers almost all of Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates The Rubal Khali crosses over from Saudi Arabia into western Oman and eastern Yemen. People, language and cultures The area is home to several different cultures, languages, and peoples, with Islam as the predominant faith. The major ethnic group in the region is the Arabs, whose primary language is Arabic. Ecological threats Agricultural projects Human destruction of habitat Military activity Oil and gas production Overgrazing by camels and goats, with increased herd size, and a more sedentary lifestyle amongst the Bedouin Military activity Weaponry used by the United States during the Gulf War also poses a huge risk to the environmental stability of the area. Tank columns in the desert plains may disrupt the fragile stability that exists in the desert currently. In 1991, the movement of U.S. tanks over the desert damaged the top protective layer of the desert soil. As a result, a sand dune was released and has started slowly moving downhill. Some people fear this dune could ultimately reach Kuwait City. Conservation The conservation status of the desert is critical, endangered, with species including the sand gazelle and white oryx threatened, and honey badgers, jackals, and striped hyenas already extirpated. No formal protected areas exist, but a number of protected areas are planned for Abu Dhabi. Oil spills In January 1991 during the Gulf War, Iraqi forces released about 1.7 million cubic meters 11 million barrels of oil from storage tanks and tankers directly into the Persian Gulf. In February, they also destroyed 1,164 Kuwaiti oil wells. It took nine months to extinguish these oil fires. These oil spills contaminated 1,000 kilometers 620 miles of Persian Gulf coast. The result of the pollution was the death of thousands of water birds and serious damage to the Persian Gulf's aquatic ecosystem, particularly shrimp, sea turtles, dugongs, whales, dolphins and fish. The damaged wells also released 10 million cubic meters 60 million barrels of oil into the desert and formed lakes total surface of 49 square kilometers. References Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. 